Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Atlas on the Radio Man 03. It is awesome to have you along. I've been fiddling around with some lights. That's right, fiddling with lights. Everyone's doing great. I'm doing very well. Arm is uh, feeling much better. Uh, I've added some lights to the dock. I thought this would look pretty good. And what we'll do is we'll rail these off with the half walls all the way down here. These guys will be on the outside of it. But it's, it, it gives off a good amount of light. And I like the way they look. I do. I do. I've also added, well, no light that way, but uh, we've got an extra one over here and over here that lights up the ship over here. It's easier to see them at night. The sun is getting ready to come up. Jaded Alcove, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wow. I got, oh, wow. It got really laggy when I just did that. Just when I turned to look at the sign, everything just kind of froze up there. That was weird. Uh, we'll have to see if that's a problem. Well, well we're going to get another sign to look at, don't we? I've added one here, and we'll add more. We'll add more. At night, this one puts off quite a bit of light, so we're pretty good down here. And then I added one over the workbench. I don't know why I haven't done that one yet, but there's one over the workbench right now. And then we'll add more along here. I do like that flickering flame. I like that one a lot, so I think we're probably going to use that. Oh, I put one over... One of the ground ones, I'm trying to figure out how I want to use them. I think it's, yeah, kind of an ambient light, you know. It's it's something I put down here in the corner. It just shows, I guess, there's an end there. What I should do is put a stone uh, corner piece like I've got everywhere else. Yeah, this needs a, a, a corner or a triangle and a triangle right here, too, to finish that off. I should just have some of those things in my inventory. You know that when we're walking around like this, I see things that I make mistakes on. And it's like, oh, how did you not notice that? And I did fix the uh, the tower as well. We'll go take a look at that in just a second. Mm-hmm. We will. Uh, yeah. Now nah, let's just take all of them, right? It's only seven. We can carry that many at least. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I made some hooks. Uh, we'll try some more of those lanterns here and there, too, because the lanterns do give off uh, the nice glow with the brown. The thing is, is, I do have to refill them, and eventually I notice that they're out, and then I've got to go, of course, fill them back up again. Yeah, here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. It's going to be a brand new Atlas day. I've been trying to get my hunger down so I could refill on food. I brought this dock out a little farther, and I, what I did was I used just the uh, triangle pieces at the end just to give it a little bit of a different look from the other dock you know uh and it's it's been extended too so we've now got the full dock here it's off from the door a little bit but that really doesn't matter it's it's the dock it, it works perfect so i can get um kodiak up there ecuador up there i can get anybody up there and then back off of there uh if i need to uh when it comes to the thames oh look at this holy crap look at this guy we got ourselves a oh oh man we got ourselves a crocodile down here. Let's see. Level 21 male crocodile. Oh my gosh, she's going to go after that pig. He is. Tsunami? I think you'd kill a level 21 crocodile pretty fast. How's she doing weight-wise? Oh boy, she's, she's heavy. I'm heavy. That's what it is. Okay, let's put this stuff into here okay yeah we're gonna have to go find that there crocodile we can't have him rolling around out there that's not that's not a good idea it's just not a good idea to have a crocodile living in your front yard here no sir uh-uh no he's down there somewhere we'll find him it'll come out I oh, just put that rotten meat in there I've just put the dang rotten meat in there. Bam! Get out of there, rotten meat. Uh, we'll work on my food and stuff after we uh, find our crocodile. Oh, crocodile! Where did you go? Are you in the water? There's a turtle. Where, where did he go? He might be on the other side of this rock wall. Oh, yeah. Where did he go? Oh, this happens all the time to me. I take my eyes off him for a second, they take off. Maybe he's up over this here. He can't get up that way. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. What the heck? <laughs> it's so weird. Oh, there he is. Look at him. What's he doing? Can you tame a crocodile? Hey, you. Hey, you. Oh, you're going to take a shot. Okay, you can take a shot at me. All right, I see. Okay. Come on. I don't know if I can tame these guys. You're not very fast. Oh, 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 oh. Watch it now. Watch it now. Come on. You got me a couple times. There you go. You got me again. Look at that. Oh, he's not going to follow. Oh, he is. He's not a fast mover. Oh, there we go. Pig fight. He's going to get in fights with all kinds of stuff. I don't know if we could tame them or not. Oh, he's got himself stuck in a bunch of trees. <laughs> okay. Oh, the stuff that happens just randomly. Oh, look at this battle. Yeah. I don't care if we catch the crocodile. Oh, he got this boar. How's that pig doing? Let's see. Oh, well. I don't know. It's stuck, but he stopped fighting it. I don't have any bolas on me. I don't know that you can tame a crocodile. I don't think you can. I don't know. We could try getting a bola. Uh, are they on his person? No, they are in here. What do we need? Like, uh, yeah. Yeah, the bolas, right? We need that. Where's my bow? I got the bow on me with the flame arrows. I know. I still haven't shot the dang flame arrows. I don't even think about it. I've just been, been in kind of a real building mode, you know what I mean? Jelly bean. All right, let's see if we can coax a crocodile into the cage. I don't think we're going to be able to. He doesn't seem interested in really going too far. Oh, he got the other boar. He's eating it, too. Look at him go. Nice work, Croc. Oh, he's nice looking, too. How cool is that? Hey, big guy. Nice. Come on. You want to eat? You want to eat a kitty? There you go. Yeah, you're in a good mood. Come on. That's it. Come on. Oh, that's it. Oh, see, when he hits me, he stops moving. That's the problem. I can't let him just. I can't let him hit me. Come on. Come on, big guy. Come on, you big crocodile. Come on. Look at me. Yep. Uh huh. You see me. You see me. Uh oh, he's going away. He's going away. No, 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 no. What are you doing? Why is he taking off like that? If I were to shoot him a bunch, wouldn't I be able to bowl at him once he gets to a certain level of health? Okay, I'm going to take... Uh, Tsunami back here. I'm going to drop you. Actually, I'm going to pick you up. And then I'm going to drop you here. So I can scoop you up real fast if I need to. And then let's go see. Can I even bowl at him if I, if I cause him a lot of damage right off the bat? Too heavy to entrap. What? <laughs> what? Rawr, eat the uh, can't entrap you. I tried. I tried. Mm. I tried. What it told me was radio. You're not gonna win this one with that rock in your hand. <laughs> so game over. 
So run away we do. Oh, look at the seagull over here. That's cool. I like that. I'm loving town. Town's coming together pretty cool. I like it. All right, so there was a comment. I have not been able to read all the comments. I'm, I'm very sorry. Um, it's been... Yeah, anyways. Um, so what I'm going to do is kind of do a, a couple of things today. We're going to just kind of fiddle around with a few different things. One was we need to make sure we decorate our ships, that we don't just build a ship and leave it like it is. We've usually been pretty good about that, and this time around I've not really done that. Uh, another question was, the same person I believe, is why is the zoo on the dock? <sighs> to be honest right now, I just love seeing them and I use them so much, like I gotta take them all out today. We have uh, no thatch, our wood is low, and we need a little bit of everything. So I'm gonna have to take these guys out before we can even really get going too much more on the episode. Um, but I would like to get the dock fixed up a little bit more, get it kind of more organized. I took these walls down and I want to replace these with the, uh, the half wood walls down here, all the way down, just on the outside. Uh, and then to match up with that rail right there, and that's what I want to have come down this way, just to kind of seal this off, because there we go. We got a crocodile. There's a crocodile right there. And matter of fact, he could have gotten in if he wanted to down there, for sure. He could have done that for sure. Um, okay. So, uh, we need a lot of wood, thatch, and fiber. And we had some of these stone guys here. Hold on. We wanted to do some of this first, right? Oh, uh, boy. I put everybody, th everything back on Kodiak. Kodiak. Let's do this. Let's give him that stuff back. And then we'll take that. Drop that. Take that, 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 that. That. And we'll leave building supplies on him. Perfection. We could drop most of this over here. And, of course, Scab. Oh, Scab's, oh, scab's hunting. Look at him. Yeah. Nice work, Scab. <laughs> nice work. I give Scab all the fish. He loves it. Look at that. Gave us a rodent. A consumable rodent. I got an idea. Let's put it in the pantry. <laughs> Gross. Yuck. Uh, here. Oh, we, now we've got Ebola on us. Of course, I didn't put that one where it's supposed to go, did I? Okay, so yeah, if we take these guys here, whoop, and turn off my light and hit down the corner like so. If we do that there and we do that there, that ties that in with the other place right here. And I think I needed to do that over here as well. Um, hmm. I would like it to be on this side, but to be honest with you, that's just going to cut off my pathway even more. I'm going to go with it. Uh, it's, it's on... It's on that side over here, right? That's 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 correct. Yeah, it's on the end. Okay, all right, that works. Yeah, and then I'll add some of those other floor lamps on these little corners right here. We'll make. I, I think I've got a few more, but we'll place these on these corners, and that'll be good. Here we are going to wind up going out this way, and then we're going to cut across and and do the wall over on this side here. Yeah, that's going to be the plan over there. Uh, but okay, so. Wood thatch and fiber. Wood thatch and fiber. I need it for wood walls. Uh, probably some more wood ceilings. Uh, things of that nature, you know. Uh, I've got to obviously clean off the, the uh, our friends here. The Thames. they got a lot of stuff on them. Uh, Ecuador, how are you looking? She's got food in her saddle. And she's got an extra storage box in there. All right, so not too bad. Yeah, we're going to take everybody out. I'll get resources. If I think it's something I want to talk about, I'll bring you back, and we'll see who we're, uh, you know, tearing it up with. I'll be right back. I have the gang, and we are on the move. It's a warm one today out here in the jungle. Mm-hmm. It is. Very toasty. Uh, I feel like I need to go to uh, the desert island sometime pretty soon. Like, maybe next week's episodes... We'll get ourselves stocked. I want to take um, the bounty and go down there and see if we can't get what we need to get some fine uh, stuff going. And then we need to get some more blueprints too. And I know I've got some maps. I think we could find some and, and take care of them pretty quick uh, with the crew we have. Especially if we picked a couple of maps that wouldn't be, you know, too tough. We'll just go in there and, and get the cash, which would be great. Uh, so he gets overweighted with all this stuff, but I've got everybody with me and we're going to go out and we're going to get wood, thatch, and fiber like I'm doing right now. And, you know, uh, then I'll come back and we'll do some building and look at, uh, uh, hopefully maybe doing a little painting on the ship. That's what I'd like to get. There's a little bit of painting done on the bounty as well. 
So now I'm just being a wall pig. I'm just making a bunch of walls right out here with these guys. And then I'll fill them up again and bring them back and we should have enough stuff to keep us going for a while. But I thought, why not make the walls while I'm out here? And then that'll kind of save us a little bit of time. You know what I mean? Jelly bean? And then we'll, uh, you know, like I said, fill them back up again. Doesn't take long to fill these guys back up. Uh, so that's a good thing right there. Yeah, we're already up to about 75 of those, so that's nice. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just kind of getting some pieces and parts put together that we're going to need, and then I'll come back. So I was just thinking to myself, this area right up here looks pretty nice. It could be um, kind of an area that we could keep these guys, these big guys here. You know, this, this whole green area with these trees, uh, it's right above our place here. Uh, which, of course, you can see over there in the background. Just thinking this might be a nice little place where you could actually possibly do something up here where they, you could set them to wander and just let them move about. It's a large space. And it does come up from behind the stable there, too. So, I mean, you could make the stable like... I don't know, whoever's in charge of the stable would be likely in charge of this entire area up here too, right? There's, that's just kind of, the, that's kind of the nature of the beast. You know, the animal expert, if you're there. Hmm. So I'm thinking about doing that. We could, we wouldn't have to wall off. Well, I guess we would if we don't want them to walk out, huh? Just be cool to have them be able to roam around so you could see from a distance them doing that. Um, I don't know. We'll see what we do. We'll see what we do. But it wouldn't be impossible. Yeah, okay. So I'm just refilling uh, Madeline up. Not going to fill her up, but just, you know, get a bunch of it together. Take it back to uh, the Jaded Alcove. Yeah, and then we'll uh, we'll get back to work on something. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> this guy. The mouse catching machine. How long do they last for anyways? 453. We got another one in here? Don't I have a rat in here? Spoiled already, huh? Yeah, 19 minutes is all it lasts for. So basically when he catches it, you gotta be able to cook it right away. Mm-hmm. Seems like that is the uh, the key. Uh, okay, so I got a bunch of stuff made up, and I've got everybody unloaded. We got a nice chest full of wood, thatch, and fiber to play with today. Uh, we've got a bunch of walls made, so I think we're, we're, I'm going to wait for the sun to come up, and then we're going to get started and get the dock looking a little more ship shape. I think. It needs a little bit of TLC to uh, just, just to kind of polish it up a little bit, so I'll be right back. <clears throat> Welcome back. The sun is coming up. I thought what we do down here is just keep it kind of simple, stupid. We'll just do... Oh, nope. Oh, there you go. There we go. And then we'll come back with these guys like we've got the other side, and I think this will probably work out pretty well. Uh, and then th we're going to do the galleon here, so I don't want to do anything else there. Uh, no, let's, 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 let's let the lip go on the outside. That's fine. There we go, just like that. That'll work. That'll work just great. Right? There we go. All right, and then down, don't forget on this end of here, by the way, I left this tree in, and I've got this taken care of. Well, let's, let's take care of this. Let's do this, yeah. And what I want to do is incorporate this somehow into the rest of everything else. Should be pretty good. What we could do is we could put a corner light in here. But what I want to do is down here, we're going to go ahead and do the... Um, uh, you can see I've expanded the dock. I, I got the dock moved all the way down. It's, it's, it's through and through just like it always has been all the way down. And then I ended it right here. I want it to end here. This is, this is, this is good for me. Oh, I got to go all the way through here. Real quick, one, two more. Oop, there we go. Um, so yeah, I don't want to go any 
further. I'd rather not go any further than that if I don't have to, because we got the tower there, and I kind of want the tower to be the end of the whole thing. We've got a cold front going on. The sun is supposed to be coming up, I thought. Oh, it's 1.21 in the morning. Nah, let me let me wait to do any more building until it's daylight. I don't want you guys having to, uh, to struggle to see. I'll be back. Don't you love how I say I'm going to wait until the sun comes up and I come back and it's dark still? <laughs> I just get something in my head and I want to try it out. And then you guys, I want you here for it. So that's how that kind of works. One of you had talked about this idea before. <clears throat> uh, that could go in a little bit further there, huh? These are those swivel gun turrets. Swivel cannon turrets. And if you just do that... Maybe that way? There we go, that's good. And then all I want to do is one of these, and let's put it down on this end here. Like that. Oh doesn't want to go there. Oh, I've got one on me. That's why. That's why. Oh, I should just access its inventory. Duh. I know. I know. He can be taught. Trust me. Turn on. There we go. Just one of those right there will light up this area down here pretty nicely so far. And then the structure itself, we've got to get the galleon. We've got to get the large shipyard back in here and get the galleons going. That's what we've got to do there. Uh, we don't want to start that just yet, and this is where I want to build the inn. So, in the meantime, I've got to figure out, okay, so where am I going to put the food, the cooking? And I think I'm going to go ahead and use um, this building right here. I got an idea for where I want to put uh, the grill and then one of the um, reservoirs uh, for the grill. Because the reservoir should fill up pretty quick, I think. Pretty darn quick. Uh, it rains here on a regular basis. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to want to do that. So let me take another break. It's dark again. I'll be back. <laughs> and welcome back. We have a nice rail and light around our tree now. So at night, it lights up very nicely down here. You'll see it the next evening. We have this doubled up. Um, I'm thinking I'll run this off this way. And we'll double up the rail all the way to the edge of the water. But we got to get the next uh, large shipyard put in so we can make the uh, create the galleon for right here. You know, mm -hmm, small, medium, large. Uh, and then I've also railed off all of this up here. I put a light right here. This is just a great way to do this. I really like how this is done. And then we've got ourselves blocked off here, but then we can come and, and jump on right here. Okay, so that's this side of the dock. And then this actually works really great. He kind of kind of clips his feet right here. I think I can almost... Yeah, I'll just... just Got to give it just a little bit of a hop to get off of there, but that works really great. This side I left more open, just because it makes the dock, all oh, the whole dock, look a little more interesting when there's different things going on. You can see Jaded Alcove, our sign is pushed out a little bit too. So we've got this walkway right here, and then of course I sealed all this off. The tannery needs to go into the tannery when we build it. We've got the platform, but we've not worked on it again. And down here we have... A nice little jutted out area. I couldn't block this off because I need this area for this uh, storage container. The cargo box on the side of the ship on the bounty, we need to be able to drag it through here. So I left that open. But what I did was I jutted this part out so that our jaded alcove sign would be here, which of course we'll be able to see better when we're out, you know, coming into the area. It'll be better to see it. Uh, and then I railed this off over here like so. And I went back to solid on this edge right here. And then back to just the wood railing on the outside here. Yeah, it, it's I'm pretty happy with uh, how this is all looking right here. Pretty cool. All right. So, yeah, we've got ourselves a massive uh, dock here, which is great. I just love it. I love having all this space. Um, next thing I wanted to do was work on, well, it's raining right now, and that's exactly what I wanted to get started on. We need to have a cooking place, and since... We're going to actually build, I don't know if I explained it very well or if I did it all, we're going to build our tavern, the soggy bottoms up, here. And it'll probably stretch off onto the galleon's dock and then come down this way a little bit, up on stilts, and around this way, and then back. So it's going to take up a little bit of space. 
but I can't really build it until we get the galleon put together and and in the water so we can uh, you know see just how big is it you know how big is that dang ship and how close can we actually get to shore with the size of that ship there's another good question what I wanted to do is since we're that's gonna be where we're gonna do our cooking and our food preparation stuff like that that's that's still down the the, the let's play a little ways you know um, so I thought maybe we could use this building right here as kind of our our food. Now I, I thought about doing it out there, but the floors are all wood, and it, it's not going to be an easy task to do that. So what I thought was maybe we've got these living quarters in here. Maybe what we do is we do our little kitchen thing right off of here. And I was kind of hoping I could take this out without the whole thing falling apart. Let's see what happens. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, that's fantastic. All right, let's grab a couple of things off of, of the carts. We're going to grab these guys here. And we're going to drop that back off. And I think we're good to go. I, I would like to try to get this water container set up so we're not missing this water. But it, it rains here all the time, so it won't take long for it to fill up. I think if we do... Hmm... Yeah, let's do that right there. Of course. Oh, I thought it stopped raining. Everybody's going to stay up? Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm getting this lucky. Number five. We do this right here. Okay, now. Inventory. Reservoir. Number five. Now, when you put this down, it wants to... Let's see. You don't want to move it around much when you get it set. Let's go ahead and come back here. Inventory. I want my pipes in here too so I can check if to see if this is straight right away. Um straight water pipe. That looks really good. That looks really good. Okay. And Yes. Okay, so and in here, I'm gonna put a wood foundation in here. A stone foundation. Oh man, and I don't have any stone foundations on me. I don't. Let's go get one. Come on. This is going to work. The reservoir should be filling up with water. And the water should be going into that pipe as well. This is good. This is very good. We'll be able to use it then. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. Do I have any in here? No. What we had, I took. TT. It's because I screwed up. Uh, structures. Stone. Foundations. I can make 28. Let's make another 5. And... Do I have any stone walls? No. Oh, you know what? Um, why did I make the foundations? I could just use this guy right here, and he would have worked just fine. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, let's, let's take the foundations with us. They're in here. Let's take these guys with us. Let's drop that in. Uh, just in case we need the foundations, we've got them. And then... Um, now let's back in here. I'm sorry, guys. Hold on. I'm all thumbs right now. Let's get... Uh, let's get ten of those. And I think I have... I do. I've got some of these... I think that's good. Run, Kodiak! Run! Eventually, the animals will be spread out. I don't know. It's, it kind of disappoints me a little bit, because I do enjoy... Like, the first thing I do is come on, and I, I, I check to see if anybody's got a level, so I can level them up once, because it's, it's just fun to do that for them. They're, they're pretty cool when they get excited. Let's see. What do we got going on here? 222 for the water. Okay. All right, so then I want to take this out of here. Wood floor. Okay. Okay, that was a full foundation. So I'm going to go ahead and put a full foundation back in there. Okay. And then we're going to take our grill. I hope this sits up right on top of this just perfectly. Number five. Number five. 
There it is. I don't get it. Why won't it snap to the edge of this pipe right here? It's snapping to the end of that one, but why not to the end of this one here? What if I lay another pipe? Who should it be? No, it's not irrigated. It's just a straight water pipe, I believe. Indoor water pipe? Oh, am I using the wrong... No, that's for drinking, right? Straight water pipe. Number five. It might need to be an irrigated pipe, too. Now, why won't it... Is it, is it because of this right here? Is that maybe a problem for it? I don't understand that. Third person, maybe? No. It wants to be right next to it. Well, maybe you can answer that one for me. I don't get it. That's weird. It's just weird. Why is it... I could work with this. I mean, we could work with that. <sighs> hmm. Not real thrilled about that. Does it say it's irrigated? Water 268 out of 300. It's taking all the water out of the reservoir into here. That water won't last us very long making anything, but um, it's not its not bad. It's not what I was looking for, though. It's kind of disappointing. Okay, so I need some stone. I made stone walls, right? Did I tell me I, I grabbed them and put them in here? Did I not make stone walls? I'll be back. I'm going to add some stone walls around that because it's a, it's a cooking area. It's hot. Uh, do that. I want the reservoir outside, though. That was the idea, was it was going to be outside, and the, the grill was going to be just inside that wall there. But we're going to have to build a little something that juts out there to accommodate that. You guys can tell me if there's something I did wrong. Uh, maybe I used the wrong pipe to, to start with there, but I, I thought it was the right way. I've done them before, and they have always seemed to work just fine. There's those walls I made. Let's go ahead and make a few more, though. I'll be back. That's nice. I could get a wall to go back there. That's really nice. I'm happy about that. Now I'm not quite so, ugh, you know, what the heck did I do? Uh, kind of feeling to me. I think if I do this and kind of raise this up a little bit, can I get rid of this guy now? It makes me nervous, you know. <laughs> Half the house come tumbling down on me. I wonder, oh, you know what I should do here? Hold on. Let's, uh, let's... Grab that one. Let's do that. We're going to have to demolish this one, but that's okay. We lost one. We lost one. Okay, I think right here what I want to do instead is five. Let's go... Uh, I don't want this to be too tall. Let's go... Come on. T, T. Like so. Uh, there we go. That one should be that side. Okay. And then inventory. I don't have them on me. Those stone roofing pieces. And then we'll go take a look at it from the outside and see what it looks like. There we go. Let's do this. But now we've got a little kitchen area right here, which is, which is pretty cool. Number five. It's the roof, so that works out just perfect. Stone roof, there we go. Uh, can we get out this way? We can. Eventually we'll have a little back patio out here, and that will uh, be something we'll be able to walk out on. But that works out pretty good. Now it's dangling off the edge here a little bit. I could put something there to make it not look like that. It's no big deal. But there we go. That's not too shabby, right? A little jutted off kitchen area made of stone because, of course, the dang oven, the grill is hot. You can't just put that stuff on wood, right? 
Uh, oh, look at this. See, this, this lantern is out. Come here. Come with me. This is what I do. I come in here and I just enjoy being in the world and run around and, and do these, these oddball things and get distracted all the time. Uh, well, bench is over here. We've got lanterns that are out of fuel. Now, sometimes I'll just let all of them run out and then I... Well, tell me I got that in my inventory. I did not. Get your fists down. What are you doing, Ronan? You're killing me here. Uh, there we go. Perfect, just like that. All right. So, yeah, and then they're out, and then I've got to refill them, of course, and I don't remember where all of them are all the time. So as I move about, I probably should have oil on Kodiak, like, all the time. Like, these guys in the corner now, these guys are empty. Oh. Well, oh, that's weird. <laughs> they don't show up. Do you see that? That's obviously a bug, right? <laughs> oh my god, that's crazy looking. Uh, we got one right here. And we got one right up here. There we go. I think we put one out here too, didn't we? No, maybe not. Oh, look at this. These chests are coming through the wall here. Ugh, ridiculous. Sloppy. Do I have one up in here? I do, right there. Yeah, see, these are all out. So, that's going to be a thing I'm going to have to do in, in before I, we get going on future episodes is just to kind of go around with a bottle of oil in my hands and uh, make sure the lanterns are all turned on. Yeah, I think it would be a good idea to keep some oil on him for sure. All right, so we've got ourselves a bit of a grill now, which is neat. This is great. Okay, so we can, we can make dye. We just need berries, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Just berries is all I need. Berries and we have the water. Uh, 268. It's not a lot, but let's see what we can do with that. We've got some dye made. Burgundy and cyan is what we're using for the bounty. Um, let's take him back. We have berries. We've got my lantern on. You guys will be able to see okay. We've got a lot more light going on now. Uh, than we did before. I think I have berries in here. Oh, there's only 46. Oh boy, I gotta go berry running. I gotta go on a berry run. Yeah. I'll have to do that before the day is over. Uh, you know what? I think I probably got berries in here, don't I? I do. Let's grab all of these. They're, this is what the island is. Is that berry? So we should have plenty to deal with it. No, I'm not gonna take anybody. Let's just go. Let's go to the house. Woohoo! We got ourselves an elephant roaming about. Alright, let's throw the berries in. Let's go to dyes. Oh, I'm gonna need fuel. <sighs> Crap, really? I forgot that. Hey, Chihuahua. Right? Is it wood? It's wood bound to be wood, right? 500? You're encumbered. Well, we'll fix that. I think I've got building stuff still in my inventory. Thank you, Kodiak. Yeah, eventually, you know, it's like, oh, why is it so dark in this part of the town? <laughs> it's because you got no oil in your lamp, sir. There's no oil. In your lamp. All right, let's do that. We do that right there. There we go. Light fire dies. Hello. Consumables, food. Why are the dyes not showing up in here? Berries and water. Does it have to hit 300 before I can use it? It looks like it does, huh? It does not have enough water in it. What if I... Well, I don't know that I can actually put my water in there. Hmm. Okay, so I don't have what we need in order to do the grill. I guess. I don't, I don't understand. Why is it that I can't get the dyes to open up? It's got to be. It just doesn't have enough water in it, right? So we're going to have to wait on that. We do have a little bit die I think 
Oh, you know what else I wanted to do? Come here. Let's make um, rope ladders. What am I missing? Thatch. I don't think I have anything in these boxes here either. No, I haven't brought anything over here to, to stock the loom. We've got a little bit of thatch in here, maybe. 165. Is that enough, or am I barking up the wrong tree here? I can make four, huh? All right, let's make four. Let's see if that's enough. I'd like to get up on the brig to see. Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, four is not enough. It's going to get us up there a little ways, but not all the way. Well, that's a bummer. I'll just wait till that's filled up, and then, then we'll try it out. We'll, we'll, we'll do that. But let's see if I've got any dye on me right now. Um, oh, boy. Maybe I don't. I could have sworn I had some dye. Well, maybe it's over in here. Let's see. There it is. That, and we've got the burgundy. All right, beautiful. All right, beautiful. Good, 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 good. And then we got this here. Okay, and what we could... Okay, let me let me get a few things put together. I need to go... I need more ladders. We're going to need more ladders. So I'm going to take a bunch of this stuff over there. Get more ladders. Uh, get things put together. And then we'll do a little painting on uh, the bounty. Okay, we're doing some painting. Some painting. I've got the paint gun in my hand, in my inventory, but I just do not know how the dang thing works. I just don't know. I can't even begin to figure out how to how to start using it. So the paintbrush works. I mean, it works just fine, right? It's not that it's a big deal. So number two, switch to the brush. Number one, it doesn't take long to do it. I, I wonder if maybe the spray gun uses less paint. Maybe, maybe that's the case. Number one is that. Number two is that. And I've got enough, It's it just takes one die per brush to put it in there. So it, it kind of lasts a while. It's been raining, which is a good thing. Uh, we're here. There we go. Number two. There we are. Like so. Just right on down the row. Okay, I'll be back. I'm going to keep on doing some painting here. Welcome back. We're uh, getting down to the nitty gritty here. There we go. This is pretty fun. Ooh, look at that. The dark burgundy looks nice. Okay, we're going to do that right there. That got the whole thing? I think it does. At least the majority of it, anyways. Alright, so inventory. I need a little more of this here. This actually goes a very long way. Very long. Yeah, this is the, the spray gun. I just, um,. I don't get it. It says to apply coloring, then alt fire, plus hotkey hashtag to set regions. I'm going to have to fiddle with it. You guys send me some information on it, and we'll try it out sometime. But last time I did it, I, I just couldn't get anything to work. It just sprayed really weird. Um, okay, I've, I've still got a little bit of paint left. I'm uh, working on getting the, the ship ship shape here so we've got a little bit of cyan going on right here this box is burgundy over here we have um our our loading cargo box i've got the green top and then i've got the burgundy uh post right here but the rest of it i left alone and then the outside of the ship is all painted the burgundy and cyan as well uh the masks are gonna have to be done let's uh let's keep going since i've got you here i'm running out of time on my day and, oh, I can paint the sails. That's right. Hmm. What do I want to have the, the cyan color on? Oh, I just drew on that. Hmm. I think I might prefer having... Oh, I don't have enough paint on there in order to do this to begin with. So let's drop that on there. That's what it looks like to me. Number seven. Now, it's it kept that there. I wish it hadn't done that. 
There we go. I want the sails to be dark. The rigging can be cyan. There we go. Let's do that right there. Yeah, I like the idea. Okay. Number seven. We're going to make... What was it? Nope. It's the sail. There it is. And there we go. We keep it kind of simple. Coloring. Okay, let's get the... Uh, we've got some brown. Uh, where do we have the brown at? The, the Paco brown. I thought that might be a reason to kind of use this stuff up and get rid of it. Uh, I just... Oh, man, let's uh, let's do our sign. Maybe the burgundy here. Apply paint. There we go. Yeah, I think that's going to look good out there. That'll look good out there. The ship is looking a little bit more put together now. All right, so what can I... It says I can switch between paints here. Let's go number seven. I would like to paint these a little bit... Oh, I see. This is... Oh, I see. Okay. Let's try it down here. This is a solid bottom here. Yeah, see, it won't let me do that unless I have it on a brush. So I'm going to waste a little bit of dye here, but no big deal. I'm going to put this on the burgundy brush, number seven. Let's try that again. It's just a little darker brown, it looks like, huh? Apply a paint. That adds a little bit of color down here. I think so. Oh, we're going to have to do all of these, huh? Yeah, all of them. Okay, this is going to take a little while. I'll be back. And there we have it. Completed. That darkens the wood up pretty nice, too. It actually has kind of a wet look to it as well in some locations. Sip my coffee real quick here. I think we got that taken care of. Uh, let's take this off of a hot bar. That, that. Uh, eight. Let's turn that off. Inventory. I definitely want these guys right here. Um, I want to put... Uh, maybe not this one here. Maybe we go to this one here. Let's put it up here. I'm not going to have it on both. I just want it on one of them. So I can get up here to see and look around. Up, up, up. There we go. And then we've got number five again. Right there. Right there. It's tight quarters. It's crow's nest after all. That looks pretty good though. I like this. The crow's eye view. Mm -hmm. Now, those of course are even higher. Man, oh man, that's a ways up there, huh? But the ship looks better, I think. Yeah, you're right. Paint it up, it looks better. This is a cargo ship, so it's not supposed to be super fancy, right? It's it's cargo ship, but I do like the fact that we have it a little more along now. It, it looks a little more done up instead of just being nothing, you know? It looks nice. It's all painted up. Look good. It's ready to go out. It's ready to go find a desert island so we can get some of those uh, those second and third tier, uh, whatchamacallit stuff. Tool, uh, tools and things. Um, that's strange. The wall is incorrect down there when it's painted. Why is that? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Careful, careful, careful. <sighs> Did I not get it right? 
I think I might have to paint some of this too from the outside. I don't know that I can actually reach this bottom piece from, I can't, from inside the ship. That has to be painted from the outside. I wonder if I can paint with the uh, hood on, with the, the dive suit on. That I don't know. Uh, let's take a look and see. Can I paint? Oh, it says it's painted. It's so hard to tell with the burgundy. It really is hard to tell. Maybe it's just the light? Uh, number six. Did I miss this one here? Looks like I did. Did I miss all of these? No. <laughs> There's no way I missed all of these. Well, anyways, we're figuring out how we can, uh, we can actually swim in the water here with the suit on and paint. I th think that might have it now. Jeez. So, uh, let's just hit X. Drop the suit and we'll get going. There we go. Beautiful. I think we got it now. Ladder here. Let's go below deck and see. Oh, you know what? I bet there it was right behind here. And I thought I checked to see if I got that, but I bet that's the one that I had missed right there. There was a couple, huh? So I'm I'm thinking it's it's behind something I didn't quite wasn't able to get to. Well this one looks weird too, right here. It's painted correctly. Is is there a way to get to the frame of the ship? The 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 ribs? I thought there was a way to get to that. Maybe it's up the top of the front. I know we did it one season. I, I remember hitting it just right and was like, oh, look at that. This inner lip is not done either. That kind of uh is strange for me. No. Okay. All right. All right. But anyways, it looks better than it did. The bounty is looking a little more ship shape, I got to say. A little bit more ship shape. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like that. I like having the ships looking nice and painted. That's, that's very good. I know I could do something really great with the sails and designs and stuff like that. And I guess I'll have to try to figure that out at some point in time, maybe. It's, it's just not something that really interests me very much is to design sails and things. Um, okay. All right. There we go. That's going to wrap up today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share. I am the Radio Man 03. I want you to have an awesome, fantastic, and a superb day. And I do look forward to talking to you again next time.